Hey there, this is Ronnie here. Today we're going to be looking at persimmons. We've got a couple things we're going to look at. We're going to look at how to know when they're right. We're going to look at some uses for persimmons. So y'all stay tuned. So once autumn and fall start to reach, in the uh, south and the southern United States. There's a couple different types of fruit that a lot of people start to think of. They start to think of apples. A lot of people like to go to the mountains and pick apples. You also think about pears. You also think about musky dimes. But one fruit that a lot of people forget about is persimmons. They grow throughout the U.S. and they're, they're pretty much everywhere. They're all over our properties everywhere. Animals love them. Deer love them. But also they're a fruit that a lot of people love too. You don't hear about people talking about it as much as they used to. Now I'm not sure if there's anything that's more beautiful in the fall time than a big old persimmon tree that is full of fruit. The leaves all fall off and all you see is these little golden jelly type of balls of fruit hanging from the trees. And they just contrast with the blue skies. They're very pretty. You can eat them raw. You can eat them. You can simply pick them up, wash them, and eat them like that. But a lot of people use them in different types of recipes, specifically persimmon pudding, which is uh, similar to kind of like a bread pudding. People make persimmon cookies. They make persimmon butter, which is similar to apple butter, and they make uh, persimmon bread. And this, we're going to do a little series here. In this first series, we're going to look at how to tell that persimmons are ripe, and then we're going to do uh, how to process them, like how to get the pulp from them. And then we're going to do a couple of recipes with them. Now there's many varieties of persimmon trees, but the one we're going to focus on today is American persimmon. Now if you go to your grocery store, you may see Asian persimmons, which sometimes can be big and they can look like an apple, or uh, they can have a texture of an apple, or they can be the size of a tomato. But we're going to be looking at the American persimmon tree One of the main reasons why you need to know when they're ripe is because if they're not ripe, American persimmon is an astringent uh, variety. If you eat it when it's not ripe, it will turn your mouth inside out. It's a weird feeling. It almost reminds you of eating, if you've ever gotten a little piece of a pecan hull in when you're eating a pecan, that bitterness, that, that dryness in your mouth, it's, it's kind of like that. The flesh of the persimmons, they're delicate and sort of gooey with strings of fiber in it. It kind of has like a jelly-like texture when it's, when it's ripe. It has a wonderful smell, a very, it's not a super strong smell, but it's a wonderful, almost, almost like a pumpkin type smell to it. And like I said, the fruits will feel like jelly. Now I'm going to show you a few pictures here. Here's a picture of persimmons from being unripe to being ripe. Now you can pick them when they're bright orange like this. You can actually bring them inside and let them finish ripening inside. You want When you pick them, you want to make sure you leave the little brown part top on, on top. Here you can see a picture of where I've, I've collected them and I've put them in a bucket. Now the fruit of the American persimmon tree starts to ripen in early fall, usually mid-September for South Carolina. You can find the fruit still hanging on to certain trees in late fall and early winter. Some of these fruits will hang on to the tree all the way up until January. Uh, there are a few things to check for if a persimmon has uh, ripe fruit. First off, you got to look at the color. The color of the persimmon should be bright orange to a dark purple. Fruit should be firm, slightly soft when squeezed and shouldn't feel hard and almost have like a jelly feel to it. It's all right if the skin is a little bit withered or wrinkled, but if it's super wrinkled or, or withered and the fruit feels dry, you don't want, you want to pass up on those. Also, if the fruits are cracked, uh, you don't want to eat those. They have a lot of black spots on them. Uh, persimmons are ripe. They should also have a very sweet smell to them. They shouldn't smell fermented or shouldn't smell sour. Now, if you see me reading, I'm reading this off of a post from my website where I have all this information that you can go to. It's southernfoodjunkie.com and just look for the post, How to Tell When Persimmons Are Ripe. If you enjoy this type of content, hit that like button for us. We really appreciate that. Now, once the persimmons are ripe, they need to be eaten fairly quickly. You can put them in the refrigerator and that'll keep them for a week or so. Put them in like an airtight container. If you leave them out on the counter, they're gonna get ripe really quick. All right, so have you ever eaten persimmons before? Have you ever made anything with persimmons? 
we'd love to hear about it in the comments below if you like this video check out one of these other videos i'm sure it'll be something that you'll like as well also there will be a little subscribe button that'll pop up where you can join our channel we'd love to have you stick around if you hit that bell notification it'll send you all of our videos that uh notify you when our videos first come out and then you can watch them then we appreciate you stopping by southern food junkie and remember let's get food junk